Hello everyone, this is Grandmaster Max Sillingworth, and now I will present you a black repertoire in just two minutes. So my suggestion against 1e4 is to play the Karakhan defense with c6, followed by d5. And the first point of playing c6 and then d5 is that if white plays e takes d5, we can take back with a pawn, keeping a pawn in the center, and also allowing us to pin the knight if they were to play bishop, if they were to play knight to f3 at an early stage. But what if they don't take on d5? What if they play knight c3 instead? Well, also in this case, we can get our bishop active quite quickly. With d takes e4, trading off white central pawn, and then bishop f5 will follow. And once we've secured the bishop on this great diagonal, we'll develop our king side with moves like knight f6, e6, and we'll castle king side and play c5 in the middle game to exchange off the opponent's strong d4 pawn. And finally, if they push past with e5, the advance variation, we'll play bishop f5, e6, and with c5 and knight c6, we'll put a lot of pressure on the white d4 pawn. Uh, to make up for our lack of central space. Now, what if white plays d4? In this case, I have, a really, have another really awesome system opening to show you. Uh, this one is called the Queen's Gambit, uh, declined. And the beauty of it is that you can play this up of knight f6, bishop e7, and castles against pretty much anything that white plays that's uh, not 1e4. So, for example, after you've developed your king side, with our castle's king side. Now that your king is safe, you can actually fin carry your queen's bishop, put the knight on d7, and play c5 to hit the opponent's center for a change. Now, so you can also do this if knight f3, you can play exactly the same setup. So that's my black repertoire based on the Karakhan and the queen's gambit declined. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.